So in this project, I'm going to go over how to set up a Raspberry Pi in a RAID configuration and installing a Samba server to access it remotely on a home network. Um, here on the right, I have my actual production one set up with two one terabyte hard drives. And on the other one is my small uh, Raspberry Pi 2, which is what I'll be going over using two small USBs. It's the same process. Um, it's a little quicker to do it with the smaller USBs than it is these one terabytes. So that's what we'll be doing in this project. All right, so first thing we need to do is get our Raspberry Pi OS. And to do that, go out to raspberrypi.org. Then we need download. And we want Raspbian. And we're going to select the light version. Hit download. We've already got it downloaded in our folder. And then after that, we need our SD card formatter. Uh, we're going to use here, link down below. You're going to select what operating system you have to uh, flash your SD card. All right, we already got it installed and up and running. So after you install it, you're going to need actually first to unzip your um, your ISO. So it should come as a dot zip simply right click and depending on what you have uh, we got 7-zip here installed if you don't have 7-zip you can watch my other video on that if not uh, you should have the option to extract here but so we got 7-zip I'll hit the extract here it'll pop out just like that so in our ISO formatter it will already have your SD card selected if you do not see your SD card hit change and you can select yours from the list. So we're going to select our image, go into downloads, select our image, loads it, and then we're going to hit the flash button. And this shouldn't take too terribly long, uh, just depends on how big your SD card is. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video and come back in just a minute. So during the flash process, you may see this pop up because it's currently, uh, your operating system won't be able to find it. You can just exit out of that and it's going right there, you can still see. So let it finish out and we'll be back. Okay, so our SD card is finished up being flashed. It's gonna go through and validate the information on it. Um, it'll take about another minute, 22 seconds. So we'll come back in just a minute. All right, our SD card just finished formatting. Or flashing uh, this format window will pop up again you can just exit out of it it's just your uh, file system trying to figure out what it is so close out of that um, still finish up validating but if that pops up exit out of it and continue to wait all right it just fin finished validating uh, flash complete one successful device and we can close that out all right so um, the next part I'm not going to be able to screen cap very well, but we're going to try to do our best. Alright, so once we format our SD card, go ahead and plug it into your Pi, then plug in your HDMI cable, and then power. If you don't plug your HDMI cable before you give power, you're going to load a simple black screen. It's an easy fix. Uh, let it have power for about a minute, then unplug the power cable. Make sure your HDMI cable is plugged in and then plug your power in. What you'll see is you'll get a few raspberries up in the top left and some loading text and then you should be asked for a login as. And then for that we're going to type in PI and the password is going to be raspberry R-A-S-P-E-R-R-Y. Well let's try that again. R-A-S-P-E-E-R-R-Y. Okay, I spelled Raspberry wrong. So again, Pi as your username, Raspberry for your password. Then you should see this here. And what we're going to do is enable SSH. So that way we don't need a keyboard or a mouse or HDMI cable plugged into our Pi. Simply just the network cable and power. And for that we need to get into the R-A-S-P-I-C-O-N-F-I-G and make sure you put a sudo in front of that. So sudo raspy config. Enter. 
we're going to go down to interfacing options, enter, and SSH, enter. Mine is already enabled, but it's going to ask you, would you like to, would you like the SSH server enabled? You're going to tell it yes. So, enter on yes. And SSH server is enabled. All right. Uh, simply press right to finish. All right. So, we enabled the SSH. Now we're going to need to get our IP address so we can connect to it. All we're going to do is type IFCONFIG. Try it again. IFCONFIG. If config. And right up here, this is our IP address. Now, if you don't have a network cable plugged in, uh, you may not see this. So, plug your network cable in, give it a minute, and then try it again. So, remember this number. Uh, you can write it down if you like. We're going to need it to connect here in a minute. After that, we're going to restart our Pi by running init space 6. And again, we run a sudo in front of that. We're going to press enter, and that will restart our Pi. Thank you for watching. Any links to tools can be found down below. Please leave a comment if these steps did or did not help you. And thank you for watching.